In this video, I am going to show you my approach to morphing shapes into each other. This approach is super simple and unlike other techniques, we do not need to add complex animations to hide the morph and we can even use images and not just shape layers. So the first thing that we need to do is to align both of these in the center so that they can morph into each other. So I'm going to go to the align tool from here and simply click on the center vertically and horizontally, just like that, and do the same for the circle. Perfect. So now they are perfectly aligned in the middle. It is important that they are almost the same size in here so that, that when they blend into each other, the morph happens seamlessly. And for now, I'm simply going to hide the circle so that I can work only in the square. So the morph is going to consist of two elements. It's going to consist of a small animation with the scale, and then we're going to apply a morph effect that will enhance the whole effect. So let's start with the scale. So I'm going to go to the square in here, hit S for scale in here, and toggle the stopwatch. And we are simply going to animate this from 100 to a zero. And to make this a little bit better, so we are going to simply pick both of those keyframes and go to the graph editor, go to the first keyframe, and we're going to click on the easy ease out button in here, and we're going to drag the speed all the way to the right. And then we're going to pick the end keyframe in here and click the Easy Ease In button, just like that. Perfect. And now if we have a look at the animation, we can see that it is animating smoothly. So now what we are going to do is we are going to toggle the circle on right over here. We are going to do the same animation on this, but in the inverse. So it needs to start from a zero and end at 100. So I am simply going to pick both of these keyframes and copy them, Control c on your keyboard, go to the circle layer, let's open S for scale, and you can paste this right over here. Control v to paste, just like that, perfect. Of course, the animation is exactly the same right now. We simply need to inverse this, so let's click, right-click on the keyframes, and from keyframe assistant, we can go to time reverse keyframes. Perfect. And now we can see that the animation is in the inverse, just like this. Perfect. This looks great. We need them to blend more seamlessly. And to do that, I am going to add a morph effect. And to do the morph effect, we're going to add a new layer. So layer new and adjustment layer. And we are going to go to the effects and presets panel and find an effect named Raffin Edges. Perfect. So simply drag and drop that right over there. And we are going to tweak some settings in here. So first, the border, we're going to change that to 100. And the edge sharpness, we're going to change that to the full amount, 10. Fractal influence, we're going to change that to 0. And complexity, change that to 1. And that's basically it. So immediately you can see what this thing does. And right now, the edges are rounded of the square. And it basically blends with the other shape. Perfect, this is what we want, but we are going to tweak just a few things. So if we go to the border in here, we can click on the stopwatch. Let's hit you on our keyboard to see that keyframe, and we're going to move that keyframe to around the center between these keyframes right over here. Perfect, and now we're going to start that from a zero and add another keyframe at the end in here, at zero, just like that. We can click on select all of these keyframes and easy ease them by hitting F9 on your keyboard. And now we can see the whole effect happening right over here. Wonderful. This looks quite great already. And to just tweak it a little bit, I'm going to select the middle keyframe in here, go to the graph editor and drag these handles in here to make the middle keyframe more prominent basically. And like this, the animation is looking very nice. So you can see that this square is blending, is getting rounder and blending into that circle. And the great thing about this is that it works with any shape. So if we hide the circle and go to the shape, shape layer tool and add a star, for instance, and center this, and let's scale this down to match our, our square, something around that. We can simply copy this scale 
of the circle. So I'm simply going to control C on my keyboard and paste it right over here. And make sure to end that in at 83% so that it's the size of this square. And like that, you can see that it blends into a star. And the great thing about this technique is that we can even use images instead of shape layers. So if I go to example two in here, you can see that I'm using the different images in here and I'm morphing them into each other using the same effect. So in here, you can see this UFO changing into a planet and then changing into a rocket. And another cool application of, for this effect is when we want to combine different objects into one. So in this case, another great use for this technique is to combine different shapes into one. So in this case, I have this morph effect on top in here with no animation on it. And if I pick one of these circles and move it, I can see that this can morph into the other one, as you can see, like this. Let's undo that if I animate these very quickly in here. So let's pick all of these, hit P on my keyboard and click on the position in here, go to around this time and simply align them to the center, align vertically and horizontally like that. And we can pick those keyframes and use the F9 tool to easy ease them. And now we can see how those are blending into each other. And we can retime this very quickly in here to make it more interesting. And like that, you can see how these are blending into each other, just like that. And one more step that we can do is to actually add some animation to this to make it look even better. So we can add a simple animation like a rotate animation, but we can even add a more complex animation. So let's add a new null object in here. So layer new and null object. And we can parent both of these layers to that null object. Like this, wherever the null goes, these objects will follow. In this case, I'm going to add a quick animation using our motion presets library. If you would like to know more about this, you can find a link for this in the description. And you will even find 20 free motion presets that can start you off. So I'm simply going to click on that null layer and select a preset from here, click apply. And there it is, it's already animated. So if I have a look at this, I can see that jumping now. Great. I'm simply move, going to move this null layer just a little bit in here so that it starts at a later stage. Great, so let's see how this looks. And great. Now I can see the animation taking place in here and it looks very, very good. So as the object jumps, the other object is blending into a star. Great. So this effect is ready, but we have so much more to share with you. So make sure to subscribe to our channel to learn more about After Effects. Also, please like and comment below. This will help us reach more people. And finally, if you would like to know how we created this drain effect, you can have a look at this video right over here.